Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I decided to do a library haul because I literally just got back from the library and as per usual I picked up more books than I expected so I decided to share them with you. I got eight books so let's just get into this video. So the first one I got was one that I literally was not expecting to get but I saw it and was like I can't not pick it up and that is The Conference of Birds by Ransom Riggs. Oh my god, it was literally on my most anticipated release video which came out last week and I did not expect to see it in the library so quickly but when I saw it I was like, I can't like be like, no I'll get it next time because I bet that loads will be growing this book. So I'm excited. Um, This is the fifth book? Yeah, the fifth book of Miss Peregrine's Peculiar Children. I read the other five, the other four and I've been waiting for this one so I'm excited. And like I'm excited to see more gory pictures, to be honest. And oh, this is the first one of these I've read that's um hardback. Hardback, no hardcover, that's what you say. So yeah. And the next one is The Language of Kindness, a North Anessa Story by Christy Watson. Looks like this. Um I've wanted to read this book for quite a while because it's basically about this nurse's story of her working in a hospital and I'm really into all these like books about medical personnel and their stories and like seeing the um kind of like conflict between themselves and patients and all this stuff because I really want to go into medicine so I like reading these kind of books and that's really the only reason I picked this up I'm not really sure too much about the exact what kind of nurse she is or anything like that I just really want to read and it's been recommended to me as a really good book if you want to go into medicine and that is the language of kindness the next book is Anne Frank's diary this is a graphical um adapt adaptation I've read Anne Frank's actual like the diary that her father published when she passed away sadly when she passed away that's what I'm saying when she was killed basically that's literally what it was and um I really enjoyed it and I enjoyed seeing like her perspective on the awful tragedies that happened and this is like what it looks like inside. I love graphic novels so putting a good book and a graphic novel into one is definitely a thing that I wanted. I wanted to read this last year but I just did not get around to it and I couldn't find it in the library so when I saw it today I was like I had to pick this up. It was not a planned pick but it was a pick that I was definitely on board to get and the fourth book is why we sleep by matthew walker so this is basically a neuroscientist showing how sleep helps you and makes it happier and healthier and i've seen people read this and one person in my school she was reading this and i asked her if it was good she said it was she says very like in depth but like once you get into it you'll really probably enjoy it so that is definitely something I have to pick up because, you know, why not? So I would recommend you guys pick that up this week as well. And yeah, that's all I have to say. <laughs> the fifth book is Michael Lewis, The Undoing Project. This book is basically about these scientists, all these two people, I don't really know if they're exactly scientists, but they're looking into um the human mind and they're so entranced by it and they want to find out like oh you know how does it work and all those like crazy things that we don't really know but like they wanted to know so yeah this looks really good honestly i have such a like fascination for the human brain because i think it's such like it's one of the most powerful organs and it honestly does so much better if we didn't have a brain we literally not exist as human beings and that's kind of crazy how much we rely on one organ and the next book is not your average nurse which is another story about a nurse but this one's more about it's about a student nurse rather than a nurse nurse and this is her like story <coughs> oh her story in 1970s london which is definitely probably gonna bring up a lot of issues aside from just being a nurse and learning what you've got to do on the job. Uh, my next book I got was 
Me and Earl and the Dying Girl. This book was out of all of these one I just picked up. I've never really even heard of it. It has made into a film, so I've time to read it and watch the film, which is actually one of the best reasons to pick up a book sometimes, is to read the book and watch the film. So I'm definitely gonna be picking this up because I'm just excited. It just looks really good. It's basically about this boy who is just trying to get through high school and he thinks he's found the perfect way to just get through it without too much trouble. Just like an average student, you know what I mean? Until his mum makes him befriend a girl of cancer. And that brings up a lot of problems with him because he's like, I have one friend and I just want to keep it between us. You know what I mean? So that's him dealing with that and obviously probably about her dealing with her cancer and all that. The last one I got was There's Someone Inside Your House by Stephanie Perkins. This book, I actually just know that it's like a mystery, murder mystery, murder mystery and I love them so I picked up. I can't tell you what the mystery is about because I don't even know but I've seen so many people talk about it and look at the cover like that is actually a beautiful cover and why wouldn't you want to pick it up so it says let's read the blurb so it says love hurts Makani Young thought she'd left her dark past behind her in Hawaii settling in with her grandmother in landlocked Nebraska she's found new friends and has even started to fall for a mysterious outsider Ollie but her past isn't far behind then one by one the students have Osborne High began to die in a series of gruesome murders, each with an increasingly grotesque flair. As the terror grows closer and her feelings for Oz intensify, McCartney is forced to confront her own dark secrets. It just sounds good, and like, he wouldn't want to read a murder mystery, you know what I mean? So, those are the eight books that I got. Um, I honestly love the library just because it means I spent no money. And I got more than I ever bargained for. Like I always find something that I never expected to find or was going there for. But I pick it up. So yeah, if you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. And comment down below if you have gone to the library recently and what you picked up. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.